back to the channel and welcome to episode 24. Today we're going to take a look at the Comica Boom X-U wireless microphone kit. That sounds good. Get it? Sounds? Yes, you're hilarious, Keith. Well, thank you. Oh, uh, wait, sarcasm? Yep. So, do you have the microphone I sent you? Uh, yes, I do, Bruce. Uh, but I do have a bit of a question first. I know these Comicas have a really good range, supposedly, uh, but if the mic is on me here in Michigan and the receiver is in Nebraska, I don't know, it seems like we're, seems like we're pushing the range a little bit here. Ah, oh, holy cow. What was I thinking? How could I have been so careless? Ah, oh, you're absolutely right, Keith. There's no way that the microphone's gonna work this way. I have the only receiver here and one of the transmitters there in Michigan with you. So let me ask you, how, how quickly can you get here? Well, it is a 10 or 11 hour drive, um, but maybe I can open a portal, kind of like I did back in episode seven. Remember when I made the guys disappear for a bit? Hmm, sounds a little risky, but I'm not sure how else we would record today. You know, what the heck? Let's live a little. What do you say, Nessa? Stay sleeping, Nessa. You know, I think I can try something here. I have an idea, but I'm gonna have to go to the driveway to try it out. Okay, let's, uh, let's give it a try. Besides, what could possibly go wrong? Well, all right, here I am in the driveway. Let's go see if I can go visit Bruce back in Nebraska, just like the good old days. Whoa! <laughs> hey! That is amazing! It worked! Yeah, all right, and no side effects. Yeah, no, I think we got lucky. Hey, where am I? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> you know, I think when I came through the portal, I must have pulled the 80s me through the portal along with me somehow. Well, let's, let's go to the video when, when you were going through the portal. Okay, well, so let's get to that spot. We can go visit spot. Bruce back in Nebraska, just like the good old days. Yeah, oh, uh, I think this might be it. So when you went to go through, you said you wanted to go back to Nebraska, like the good old days? Like the good old days. And you last lived in Nebraska in the 80s. In the 80s, yeah. And there we go, yeah, you know, that actually explains this 80s style Cosby sweater as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we still have this issue, which is what are we going to do with him? What do you mean by that? And who are you guys? Hey, you look like my old buddy's dad, Bruce. Are you guys related? Oh boy, we're gonna have to do something fast. Yeah, I mean, who knows what kind of space-time continuum problems we're creating right now. I mean, I already touched them even. Uh, Keith, I, I think that whole space-time continuum thing is just something that happens in the movies. And besides, if this is the younger you, my chicks and stick supply I have in the house, it's going to be gone in no time. Well, frankly, I think chicks and sticks are the least of our worries right now. You know... Did you mention you actually have chicks and sticks in the house right now? You need to focus, Keith. Okay. okay. Wait, why did you answer? <sighs> well, Keith, I think, I think I have to tell you something. Is this going to be like Star Wars, where you tell me that you're my father? <laughs> or like Back to the Future, where you're my son coming back to the past? Well, not, not exactly. It's a little hard to explain. I don't totally understand it myself, but basically you are me, or I am you, uh, depending on how you want to look at it. And uh, when I came through this portal, I think I just pulled you into the future with me. But, but you're so old. I guess I'm so old. What year is this? 2050? 2050. <laughs> Jeez, was I always like this when I was, you know, back in the day? Oh no, you are not pulling me into a conversation with, well, yourself. Yeah. <laughs> if I knew I was gonna look like that, 
Maybe I should start eating healthier, getting better exercise, uh, taking a vitamin. This is going to be my fate. Uh, I'm kind of starting to wish that you would just go back to the past. Oh, Keith? Oh my gosh. You, you did it again. Young Keith is gone. Yeah, it happened again. Ugh. You know, I'm beginning to think that this uh, portal thing is pretty unstable. You know, I don't think either one of us should be recommending this product to anybody. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely agree. So uh, what do you say we go ahead and get to reviewing the microphones that this episode is actually supposed to be about? Yeah, yeah, I think that makes sense. And uh, with uh, myself out of the way, I think things will go a lot smoother now. Yeah, welcome to my world. Hey, I don't think that was meant to be a compliment. Uh, well, look at the time, Keith. We're, we're late for getting to the backyard and starting the review. <sighs> okay. All right, so Keith and I are mic'd up with the Comica Boom X-U dual wireless microphone system. Yep. And so this system uh, comes with two transmitters, one receiver, and each of the transmitters gets a channel of the stereo uh, input on the receiver. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice system. E each, each channel that we're recording in, you can monitor the levels independently and you can set the sensitivity uh, differently for each channel mm -hmm. and it records it in two channels as well. Yeah. And we're not really sure by the time uh, this gets produced and put up on YouTube as you're viewing it now, maybe it gets mixed, mm -hmm. but maybe not. We're not entirely sure as we're recording this. So if you have a set of headphones nearby, put them on. And if my voice comes out of only one ear and Bruce's goes in the other ear, that's that's what we're talking about. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And um, just a little bit about these, you know, there's a the way we are using these wireless transmitters is there's a little audio jack in each one, and uh, that we're fishing this uh, lavalier mic, as it's called, through our through our shirts. Uh, so that's the way we're using it. That's a probably the most common way, perhaps, probably. as we get used. Probably. But yeah. but there is an integrated mic as well. So if I didn't have this plugged in, you could just use the, the integrated mic and clip it somewhere close to your mouth. Mm -hmm. It comes with these little dead cats, yep. uh, which are kind of a sleeve that has a kind of a mouse fur type of thing on it to, I don't know, isolate a bunch of wind noise if it was a really windy day. Yes. Uh, but we don't, we don't really care about that because we're using it with a lavalier mic, so. Exactly, exactly. So, yeah. so additionally, the transmitter receivers have roughly a six hour battery life. So uh, that's good when they're fully charged. And then additionally, um, what's nice is they are rated for up to 120 meters of range. 120 meters, wow. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that sounds good, actually. Six hours of battery life, that sounds very good. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure that's better than what my current rig has. Um, but 120 meters, I think you probably meant to say 120 feet, right? Actually, in this case, I did not misspeak. So Comica claims that these units have 120 meter range. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. 120 meters. So just to put that into a context for our listeners to visualize it, yep. I suppose, yep. that's roughly the distance of a football field. So mm -hmm. the idea that I could be mic'd up with this little wireless transmitter and standing in one end zone and the receiver could be in an, the opposite end zone, that's, that's what we're talking about. That's, yep. that's huge. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know, but I will say, as they say in the automotive industry, your mileage may vary. Yes. Right? So just because it says that range is what it is, 120 meters, it, it could be more or it could be less, right? Uh, right? And usually if they're going to err, it's going to be less, right? Let's face it. Yeah, it could be a lot less in theory. So I feel like this is something that we should probably test. Well, well good. Thanks for volunteering, Keith. Yeah, no problem. Wait. <laughs> What am I, what exactly, you said the word volunteer. Yes, exactly. <laughs> what exactly am I volunteering for here? So what we're going to have you do is we're going to have you walk to the back of our property line. And our property from front to back is about 428 feet. And uh, sitting on our deck, we're probably in that 350 uh, to the back property line mark. And so if we make it 350 feet, right, we know that's going to be over 100 meters. And so we'll probably call that, you know, close, close, close enough, close enough for government work kind of, uh, kind of approach okay. uh, to it. 
We'll have you walk out there with your uh, DJI Osmo Pocket. Okay. And that way, uh, as you're walking out, you can keep talking into that. We'll have the audio, and we're going to be testing if we keep your audio, you know, coming in through your microphone or not. And we can have you turn and show, uh, you know, on the Osmo just how far away you are from me. I'm starting to wonder why is it that every time we do a, a test, that I'm literally the one doing all the legwork. Uh, probably because you're you're just so good at it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that 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 praise seems so authentic. It seems so legitimate the way you say it. <laughs> oh well, it doesn't matter. Let's get to it. Sounds good. All right. Okay, Bruce. Looks like I've got my DJI Osmo Pocket set up. Perfect. Let me flip around here, and we'll start our little adventure. Sounds like a plan. I'm gonna hold on to the camera here just so it doesn't accidentally get knocked over. Yeah, you know I like. And to don't forget to start things. that Sony up on the way by. Oh yeah. Where's and that? please excuse any leaf crunching noise that uh, comes across. It is fall in Nebraska, and the leaves have fallen as they're supposed to. All right, Bruce. I'm gonna start walking to the back corner. All right. Bye. Thanks, thanks for walking. Yeah. Thanks for walking. All right, Doing the so leg work Keith is working usual. his way back to the back. Um, so I'm I know keeping I an eye on the audio levels just so I can, uh, you know, tell him Unique he can stop walking if we lose Unique his New signal York. in the meantime. Unique but uh, New York. hopefully we, we maintain that. The human he does have the antenna uh, flipped out well, so that uh, he'll get the maximum the range torch. out of that uh, transmitter. Denied a bank loan. All right. Yeah, Bruce has a big. How you feeling, Keith? This is a little interesting. You can't actually right hear me, but it's all about. I can't believe I actually got him to, to do the walking in this case, so uh, good for me, again. And I'm watching the uh, signal, and it looks like we've still got a uh, signal coming across. I think we lost you. All right, so uh, at some point in the backyard, we did lose Keith, so we'll have to figure out uh, what happened there. So I'm gonna go ahead and wave Keith in. Because we lost him. My eyes were good enough to actually see Bruce hailing me in. Or once it disconnects because of a, a range issue, will it ever come back? Did it come back? Interesting. So I'd say I'm about halfway, maybe a little more than halfway to the back of the property line. So if I do my math correctly, let's say I'm 150 feet. Let's go ahead and try the test one more time. Let's verify, is your antenna still flipped out like this? Yes, but it was on my back pocket, which maybe on the, oh no, it's not flipped out. So that's maybe the let's, test. Let's try number two. Yeah. Test number two. So maybe, you know, this is a good, actually, maybe this is a happy accident that, um, you know, this is the way I have mine flipped out. It does rotate down. Um, and I think for a short distance, it's probably not a big deal, but when we're trying to really push the, the limits right. of uh, this capability, we might need that antenna sticking out. So let's try that. Um, I would say that for your walk there, having it on your back pocket is probably good because now your body's not in the way. Right. Uh, and then we'll verify on the way back that we don't lose you when you turn mm -hmm. and now your body's actually shielding potentially that signal. Okay, all right. And I think we also learned that once you lose connection due to range, yes. that it will automatically reconnect when it comes back into range. Yes, Which exactly. I never thought about that before we did this test, but mm -hmm. you know, probably something you shouldn't take for granted. Exactly. The yeah. interesting thing was I could still see that there was a transmitter it was supposed to be communicating with. Um, and I could see the battery status, but I lost all of the um, audio level indication. Right. So the audio level went to zero and it wasn't bouncing back. So it wasn't just like it was maybe too soft. It was the yeah. audio level disappeared. Yeah, so I think that's another feather in the cap of this system, right? Yeah. Because when things go bad, you can tell why. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Okay. Perfect, well, let's give this another run. Um, have that antenna flipped out, verify that before you leave. Yep, yep. I see it is now. Yep. So let's go ahead and uh, test number two. Uh, right. Give that a whirl, and then that's probably a good indication if, if it does work better, how much this antenna, because the antenna almost feels a little gimmicky. Um, yeah. But 
as you know, necessary. Maybe maybe it really is a kind of a big deal. As a matter of fact, maybe for now I'll even uh, move my receiver to being at the top of the camera. Now I'm not going to be able to see the audio level, so we'll be doing a little bit more blind. But this way, again, the the camera body isn't blocking the uh, antennas that that exist for each receiver to be communicating with that transmitter. Yep. All right. Shall I just go? Let's go for it. Let's, let's go for it. it. All right. And then uh, let's let's double check that the Sony is uh, is actually running down there before you get going, so that people can see how far you're you're going out. I think it's good. I don't know if that's showing up on the DJI Osmo, but I think it's it's good. All right, let me get to my starting point again. Crunching through the leaves. All right, here we go. All right. So Keith is on Unique his way out. So not only did I Unique get him convinced he should do this test the and human do torch 700 feet of walking a bank uh, for it, but I convinced the human him to torch do it was two times. Denied a bank loan. So, and I want to say it's right thing. about here, roughly. So not only did I convince Keith before, to when the walking for this my test, antenna was not extended on two my wireless separate times. So, so each this test moment is about 700 all feet is, worth of walking. As our theory goes, so we're getting him some good exercise on this trip. Still being recorded, and I'm significantly past where the audio. And I apologize, before, you might see but some I will camera go ahead uh, walk occurring. all the way to the um, end. The, the wind has been picking up uh, this morning, and we are obviously shooting outdoors. This is today. about where Bruce started shouting at me before. So real quick, right. I'm going to duck off camera Definitely and I'm going to take a look him. and see if I'm still getting his signal. Okay, so now I've flipped my body. This is another test because now the transmitter, which is on the, my back pocket, is facing so, my body um, is I shielding. I just looked and I was getting his signal all the way to the back property but line. But I can see fact, Bruce. Um, I believe the up that I am still getting it in the back deck. So with his body. I'm going to say that blocking that, that uh, uh, receiver, excuse me, that transmitter signal. Is a so need to have. Um, I'd have to say nice that to uh, we're probably yeah, verifying that if you use that antenna uh, on the system Unique and New York. have it fully extended, that Unique you're going to get probably really close, if not exactly, the, the range that Kamaka has uh, stated you're going to get for the Maybe system. We can make that the title of this. So episode. that's really impressive. The Human Torch was denied a bank loan. Could be. How'd it go, Bruce? Kept you the whole way. The whole way. And on the way back, even when you turned and your body yeah. was potentially blocking that signal from your transmitter, Holy that smokes. it worked the entire time. Awesome. It was a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. Now, we'll take a look at the video and, and just verify everything, but. All right. Thank you. Well, I think we're at the end of another episode of Dad's Talk Tech. This was, uh, this one was really fun, Yeah. right? Absolutely. We got to be outside, which I think is, is that a first? I think we had an outside shot here or there, but really yeah. almost this whole up, this whole episode was outside. Whole episode. That, that was fun. And a special shout out to Ryan, right, for playing the young me at the beginning of this episode. That made it, that made it extra fun. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So uh, this episode would not have been possible without Keith's son, Ryan. Uh, I don't know if we mentioned that Ryan's your son, right? No, uh, I guess maybe not. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Ryan played the 80s version of Keith. And so it uh, wouldn't have been possible to, uh, to have that little skit uh, included in the episode and, and your, uh, you know, how you made the journey here to Nebraska in order to record uh, today without him. So uh, this is the first time, again, that we've been together for a shoot since episode eight when we were at the lodge. Oh, episode eight, yeah. That's one of my favorites. Yes, mine too. Yeah, so thanks for uh, making it this far. And please, you know, hit that like button for this particular video. Please subscribe. Right? And then, uh, what's the other thing? Ring that bell. The bell. The bell. Yeah, the bell thingy. Somehow the bell's important. I just hit the bell. I think if they hit the bell, they'll get notified when we make new content just like this. That sounds important. It is important. Thanks.